Hey Maximizers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. I am a coupon coach, educator, and the creator of the Shop for the Purpose Maximizer Academy. And today I am here to share with you guys five ways that you can save money for the holidays. And this video is sponsored by Top Cash Back an amazing website that allows you to earn cash back when you are shopping at over 4,000 online retailers. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about how you can use Top Cash Back and earn some money for the holidays. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can save a little bit more money by shopping online through Top Cash Back. Now, in one of my last videos, I talked about how you can make money and I'll link that video up here so you can go check it out. All the ways you can make money. And now in this video, we're gonna focus purely on savings. What can you do to stop spending a lot or spend a lot less than you did before in order to keep more money into your bank account? So if you're ready to learn how you can save some money just in time for the holidays or just to have inside your bank account, then just keep on watching. So tip number one is to have a no spend week. And what a no spend week is, it means that you spend no money on anything that is not essential. So it means you choose what seven days you're not gonna spend money. And before those seven days start, you're gonna get gas. But if you travel a lot for work, then you know you need to set aside your gas money. But when it comes to buying lunches, buying coffee, getting your nails done, getting your hair done, we are not spending money on any of that. We are not going to the grocery store during those seven days. I mean like gas and like if you have like an emergency doctor's appointment and you need to pay for your copay, things of that nature or something that has been pre 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 planned but no going out to dinner no buying lunch no just going to grab a random smoothie no for a no spend week you're not going to spend any extra money but when you get the urge if you were like oh let's go buy a coffee that four dollars you were going to spend on a coffee you put that into a bank account that forty dollars you were going to spend on getting your nails done you're going to put that into your savings account and the way that this is really going to work is Next week, you can't spend double. So you can't go to the grocery store and say, oh, since I didn't shop last week, I'm gonna double up. You can't do that. You have to truly go about being creative, eating what you already have, and using what you already have so that you are not going to the store and spending money on anything that is not essential. So I would say try a no spin week. You may surprise yourself. You may be able to save up to $100 just by simply not spending and being more creative at home. Tip two kind of goes along with the no spend week, but you can do this like for the whole month or for a while. So tip number two is specifically for food and like coffees and drinks. It is eat what we already have. So you can do a no spend week. Maybe you do that for week one. Maybe for week four of the month, you are gonna do eat what we have. So that means you're gonna go through your fridge, your freezer, your pantry, your cabinets, and you're gonna make breakfast, lunch, and dinner with all the things you already have inside the house. You are not gonna go out and buy coffee. You're gonna drink coffee at home or you're gonna buy a coffee and you're gonna use that coffee pot that's under the cabinets that you haven't used. You're gonna dust that bad boy out. So with the eat what we already have, you're basically not going out and buying any extra food until you eat all the stuff that you already have at home. Now these saving money tips, you don't have to do them all together all at once. You can space them out. The holidays at this point are about six to seven weeks away. So you can do one, like I said, week one, you can do one week four, and then week six, do another one of these tips that I'm sharing with you. All of these things are gonna help you save a couple extra dollars. And again, if you get the urge, if you were like, oh, let's go get a smoothie, put that smoothie money inside your savings account so you can see that account grow, but then you go to your freezer, you get out your fruit and you make yourself a smoothie. So again, Tip number two is eat what you already have. Don't buy anything else. Tip number three is use Top Cash Back when you are spending money. So in my last video, I talked a little bit about Top Cash Back. And in this video, I want to do the same because I am loving Top Cash Back. Essentially, it is a online site where you can shop connected with over 4,000 retailers. That's 4,000 retailers. And you have the availability to shop through these retailers but earn cash back on the money that you are already going to spend. What? This is a great opportunity for you to do some of your holiday shopping with the money that you made from the first video that I shared with you guys and actually save even more money because think about it. If you're going to a site and you're getting 5% cash back, 
you were gonna spend that money anyway and you're earning an additional 5%, that's more money back into your pocket. I'm gonna walk you through using Top Cash back because your girl Kinsley needs some new hoodies. She is growing like wildfire, so I'm gonna buy her some size seven hoodies from Macy's and there is a nice cash back offer here at Macy's. So let's switch over and let's go through Top Cash back together. I'm going to do a full purchase with you guys. I'm going to show you how easy it is to download the Chrome extension, how easy it is to create an account, how easy it is to shop, and how easy it is to earn cash back on money you were already going to spend. All right, this is the Top Cashback website, and it's super easy. You just need your email address and a password to sign up, and then you're going to choose how did you hear about us. You can just say tell a friend because I'm your friend, and I told you about it, y'all. And then once you get in there, you'll have to put in your regular information, your name, your email, all that jazz, so you can get your account creep. Aid it. Just make sure you click the link that I have given you guys down in the description box so that you will be referred by me, okay? Once your account is created, you're going to get something that looks a little bit like this. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Top Cashback browser extension. And I already have mine installed, but I'm going to show you how easy it is for you to go ahead and get yours. And what it does is whenever you go to a website, the Top Cashback logo will pop up and it'll let you know how much cashback is available so i'm going to go back to this first one and you see right here it says install it now so it's a browser extension so that way whenever you go to a website top cashback will remind you that hey there's cashback use this so i'm going to go ahead and install mine you can see mine's already installed because it's asking me to remove it all right so i'm going to go back to top cashback you guys see that mine's installed and we're going to do it i want to shop at macy's so we're going to go to macy's.com and once we get there it's going to pop up Bam! You see how it pops up that we're going to get 12% cash back. So all I would need to do is just click this 12% cash back. And now we're going through top cash back. And it's going to take us back to Macy's. But now it's going to capture our purchase so that we can get the 12%. And you see right here how it says 12% cash back active. That means on whatever we purchase, as long as it's included in the promotion, we are going to get 12% cash back. How awesome is that? Like, I'm so excited. So I'm going to take a second. I'm going to log into my account. And then we are going to shop. Okay, so we are going to look up children's girls clothes because that's what we're going to grab. We need to get Kinsley like two hoodies and maybe a pair of pants, y'all, because I bought all those pants from J. Crew in the last video. And can I tell y'all that she can only fit half of them? I have to send them back, okay? Oh my gosh, look, these jeans are $13. So I'm going to see. Let's see if we can get her a pair of jeans too. And they only go up to 6X. Mm, okay, so we need size sevens for Kinsley. Six X is not gonna work. So maybe she's in girls' clothes already. Oh my gosh! Let's see. So basically, this is me shopping, and all you do is you shop like normal once your cash back is activated. So I'm going through. I'm trying to find hoodies and I'm trying to find pants for Kinsley. So I go through and I purchase everything, or well, pushes everything. I put everything that I want to buy inside my cart and then you're just gonna go and check out like normal so whatever website you're going to if they have cash back through top cash back you're gonna get that little pop-up on the extension and you just want to make sure you click activate so that top cash back can track your purchase but again just shop like normal once you're activated through the extension all right so my total was at 150 dollars but i put this code in i have a macy's star offer I applied it. Does this Glam 10 work too? I'm trying to apply. Um, okay, so the Glam 10 didn't work, but I have a Macy's star offer that I applied. So my total went from $150 down to, to $119. So I'll take it. And what am I grabbing? I got your girl two pairs of jeans. I got her two hoodies and a pair of purple sweatpants. So she can kind of wear this as a whole outfit. This is more than I would love to spend on items for Kinsley, but it is hard out here, y'all. So I guess I'll do some more like Black Friday shopping, but I haven't been able to really find her any hoodies anywhere else. We had the coupon with Macy's. And of course, just like last time, I have a Macy's credit card, so I will be earning points on this. So I'm overall happy with our purchases. So now I'm just going to go ahead and check out, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like on the Top Cashback website when it go ahead, when it um gives me 
how much cash back I'm going to earn and when I'm going to get it. All right, Maximizers, I want to show you the um, cash back I received for Macy's. So I got my 12% cash back and it's $15.20 that I got back for spending my $126 on my first purchase at Macy's. And I'm so excited. So definitely, 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 you're going to hear me say it a million times during the video. Sign up for top cash back. Add the Google Chrome extension and start earning your cash back when you're shopping, y'all. Why not earn some free money? So yeah, definitely. I'm so excited that I got $15 back. So yes, I am addicted to using Top Cash Back whenever I am shopping online. I'm literally have only been shopping online for Kinsley's clothing because she is growing like a weed. But I do anticipate shopping online for Black Friday and for the holidays. And you best believe I will be using Top Cash Back. So go ahead, click the link down in the description box and you guys start using Top Cash Back. Download that browser extension so that you do not shop online again without earning cash back when it's available, okay? So tip number four to save more money for the holidays is pay yourself 10% of your take-home pay. I want you to pay yourself off the top. This is how you save more money. Essentially, you're gonna be reducing your entire budget by 10%. So let's just use a nice round number. Let's just say your take home pay um, from your paycheck is $1,500. If you take 10% of that, that means you're gonna take $150 and you're gonna put it in your savings account. We need to pay ourselves first. We do not work hard. We do not put in our sweat equity, our time, our energy, our effort to leave with nothing or to just pay bills and just barely scrape by. So I want you to start by taking 10% off the top. If you're someone who cannot do that, I want you to set up a auto draft with your bank account and do a set standard amount. If your paychecks vary, do, you know, a do a more conservative amount. So maybe your paychecks range between 1200 and 1500 do on the 1200 end and do 120 and if you get more money then you can transfer more money over later if your job allows you to do multiple direct deposits my last nine to five did you can set up a direct deposit for the amount and just say 10 percent of my paycheck goes to this savings account you deserve it you owe it to yourself if you can't quite do 10 percent because you are in a paycheck to paycheck i understand five percent you owe it to yourself, okay? And that's gonna tie into my tip number five that I'm gonna share with you, but I really want us to start paying ourselves first before we pay anyone else because we are the ones doing the hard work and you should not have to not have any money saved up for the holidays or for yourself simply because you did not manage your money correctly. You owe it to yourself to have money in your bank account to do what you please. And right now we're focusing on the holidays because the holidays is coming up. But after the holidays, continue to pay yourself 10% so you have money for vacation. And you overall just have fun money. So when you and your family want to do something, the money is there for you to do it and you don't feel so restricted. And then my tip number five is to reduce your expenses. Some people ask me, Crystal, what's an expense? An expense is something that you spend money on, but you control how much you spend. I'm gonna give you an example. My gas is an expense. Gas is a necessity for me to drive my car, but I can choose what gas stations I go to. I can choose how often I fuel up. I can choose what rewards programs I'm gonna subscribe to so that I can get gas for the cheapest price possible. Groceries, yes, we need groceries because we need to eat, but I can determine where I grocery shop, how often I grocery shop, and what I get. So the first thing I reduce whenever I need money is my grocery budget because I have control of that. My beauty budget, I like to get my nails done, I like to get waxes, I like to get pedicures, I like to get my eyebrows done, but I can reduce and I can determine how often I get those things done. And if I'm having a month where some other things are a little bit more important, I can forego my eyebrows or I can forego my pedicure because it's winter and only get my nails done and reduce that down to the bare bones budget so that I have more money. Make sense? Another expense is if you eat out often. So maybe you eat out two times a week and you need to reduce that to one time a week so that you can save that extra money and have it in your bank account for the holidays. So those are just some examples of expense categories of things that you spend money on, but you can control what store you shop at for it, how often you shop, and what your budget is. So I want you to take a minute, a few I would say, go through your budget. 
look at some subscriptions. What subscriptions are you paying for that you don't use? What are some things that you're paying for that you're not using? I want you to look at your budget also and look at your expenses. Is there a certain category where you give yourself $300 every month, but you're only spending 200 of it? Can you take that $100 back and put it somewhere else or put it specifically in your savings account for the holidays? So you need to really look at your budget and see where can I cut back? Cut back your expenses. Make sure you're unplugging everything in the house that's not a necessity or not an essential because when you keep those phone chargers plugged in, when you keep your ring lights plugged in, coffee makers plugged in, you are still using a little bit of electricity and that could shave dollars off your electricity bill. So look at ways that you and your family can cut back in your expenses, cut back in your budget, and cut back in the amount of energy and things that you guys are using so that you can save more money for the holidays so those are my five tips I'm gonna go over them briefly with you guys again number one is to have a no spend week number two is to do a eat what we have at home challenge number three is to continue to use top cash back when you are shopping online for the holidays and before the holidays begin so you can stash that money into your savings account for later Tip number four is to pay yourself 10% before you pay anything. And then tip number five is to reduce your expenses, reduce your budget so that you have more money to put into your savings account. But the most important thing with all of this, my friends, is to actively transfer that money that you're saving into a savings account. And if you need to open a separate bank account, I'll leave a link down in the description box for Chime. Chime is a free online bank and when you sign up and you set up a direct deposit, you'll get $50. So if you wanna make a free $50, another um, source of income for you to save for the holidays, Sign up for a free Chime account, set up a direct deposit, get your free $50, and you can start to save all of your extra money in that Chime account. And then when it's time for you to actually shop for the holidays, you'll have a debit card and you can use that. And that'll be a perfect way for you to stay within your budget and only spend the money you have allocated for the holidays. So I really hope this video was helpful. If you have any other interesting or creative ways to save money for the holidays, I want you to go ahead and drop those down in the comments help us all out so that we can have the money that we desire for our holiday shopping stay safe out there as you are shopping i want to thank you guys so much for your love and support i appreciate each and every one of you and as always please like share and subscribe thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video